This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, we're back again with Air Walker. Uh, this is the footage that I promised you guys in the last video. Uh, the last video was getting a bit too long, and uh, I was getting tired, to be honest with you. Uh, so I decided to split it up into two different videos. So in this video, I ranked him up to rank 5, and you know, you got a chance to see what he looks like here as a 565 SIG 200 champion. Uh, then we're going to go into Realm of Legends. And we're going to fight Winter Soldier. And I warn you, I am not impressed with this champion. All right. But I'm trying to get a feel for his play style and maybe, you know, some rotation that might give him some uh, good damage. And I really didn't find it. I did find something that uh, I like to play with, but he's not suicide friendly. Now, here's a complication. Since I'm running suicides, his damage is inflated. And because he can't fire off a special three until three fights, in this fight, I can't save recoil damage at all. So if I want to have, you know, a reasonably quick fight, I have to fire specials. So I'm going to be taking recoil damage all the way through. All right. Now, one thing I did notice, it seems like his special two attack is the moneymaker. That, that looks like it's the one that uh, does the most damage. Now, what I noticed and remembered from uh, my reading of his abilities is that there's a 50% chance of the special one to stun the opponent. Okay? And if you... Um, what do you call it? If you uh, charged up a heavy and it pushed it to, you know, a bar of power, you had an unblockable for a short period of time. So what I was playing around with uh, when I was fighting here, uh, and you'll see it in the uh, next fight as well, uh, what I tried to do is wait until I had almost two bars of power. Once I had almost two bars of power, I would fire off the special one. And if it stunned him, remember there's a 50% chance. So if it stunned him, then I would charge my heavy, go to one bar of power, and now I was unblockable, fire off the special one, unblockable, guaranteed stun at that point, and continue. So that was a nice little vicious uh, rotation there. And I do get it every once in a while. Um, but, you know, I need to practice that a lot more. Uh, and I don't even know if it's worth it. It did not look worth it to me. All right. But you guys can be the judge. So you can see what his damage looks like here. Again, not impressive. I honestly don't know where I would even use him. Uh, I suspect after videos on him come out, uh, his arena is going to be pretty low because he doesn't look good. He doesn't look good at all. Um, he has a great special three. You know, the special two is pretty decent as well. All right. See, there you go. I stunned him, fired up the heavy. All right. That was unblockable. Got the stun again. So I did it right there. But was it worth it? I don't know. Didn't look worth it. All right. Uh, so we're almost, uh, we almost got him down and, uh, we're almost dead. Uh, like I said, I had to take recoil damage. Then of course I, you know, make mistakes and, and get hit. So now at this point, I'm like, wow, I need to try and get him down a little bit more and then maybe fire a special off because otherwise I'm not going to even make it through this fight. Uh, I don't know what... I would use him for I, I'm still trying to think you know where would I use him how would I use him and who would I use him in place of uh, but I don't know I, I really don't know 
Um, he doesn't have the immunities, so he doesn't have a whole lot of utility. Normally, you would think that a champion without, you know, that much utility would have more damage. He doesn't seem to have that either, you know. So he might be on the uh, chopping block for uh, a rework sooner rather than later. All right, so the next fight is going to be with a six-star rank three. As you can see, I took him up, and we'll take a look at his stats so that you guys can see what a six-star rank three looks like. I don't think you're going to see a six-star rank three Airwalker anytime real soon. Uh, unless somebody just wants to do it for the memes. Because he's not worthy of a rank three, in my opinion. Uh, now, when I was doing this, I realized that I never actually awakened him. I leveled him up and everything, but I didn't awaken him. And they did something here that uh, sped this up. And I didn't realize it at first. You see where it says only 40? because those are plus fives. I didn't realize that. I was thinking they were plus ones, and so I'm like, okay, let me try to put in 200, and it'll put in the max that it can anyway. All right, so now we've got a six-star rank three SIG 200 Airwalker. All right, and uh, you got a chance to look at his stats, so you can see what those look like. And now, we're gonna go back in, and we're gonna do that same fight. Now. I have a couple of fights now under my belt in terms of practicing with Airwalker. All right, so uh, you'll see me fighting a little bit better here. Uh, now, Winter Soldier is not the best person to practice against because he's very passive. Do you see how he just stands there? Watch how often he stands there with his hands down, not blocking, not doing anything like that. If you attack him, he's more likely to parry you or intercept you with a special okay so i was playing it a little bit safe here and uh of course the damage is better so you get a chance now to see what kind of damage he can do at this level six star rank three and compare it to the 565 the six star rank three does do more damage but it's still not that impressive uh there are plenty of other damage dealing champions that I would choose well before I ever ranked him up, even to two, okay? Uh, but that's that's my opinion. All right, there's the stun. I did the heavy, and there we go. Stun again. All right, so that was a little combo that I was trying to practice in the fight. I got it there, but sometimes when I tried it, I would get tagged by Winter Soldier. Uh, you saw that in the last video. But I had one that I just restarted it because every time I tried it, I didn't have the timing just right. And he would fire off a special every single time and catch me. So I was like, OK, well, maybe that's not such a good thing to do. But I, I was stubborn and I wanted to try it. All right. So you can see here, you know, block proficiency, all that good stuff. He, he just doesn't impress now. Human Torch, when he first came out, did not impress me. And a lot of us were underwhelmed by Human Torch. Maybe this is another diamond in the rough, you know? Uh, he could turn out to be far, far better than we're thinking. Maybe in the right situation, circumstance, the right nodes, uh, against the right opponents. But I honestly did not see anything that would cause me to recommend him to you guys. All right, and I, I'm just, I'm, I'm not disappointed. I'm actually happy because I think he's going to go low in the arena. So I'll probably pick up a new champion for my arena grind because that's it. That's all I plan to use this guy for uh, if I go for him in the arena and get him. Uh, he's arena fodder for me. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, he is disappointing. Take care. Click like. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.